What's happening guys? I'm Dan. Welcome back to another episode of Poor Michigan Reviews. I'm dealing with more Arvon beer guys and I'm super thrilled today because this is not a New England style IPA. It is not a sour. It is a German beer guys that is very fitting for this season. It's going to be Usual Suspect, which is a German style Marzen brewed for Arvon's first annual Oktoberfest. I'm so pumped to drink this with you guys. Uh, it is the season. This is very fitting. And again, I love that Arvon has completely branched out of their styles from the beginning um, quite some years back. And now they're doing all these different styles of beer, guys. And they're doing it really well. So I'm Absolutely thrilled to try this with you guys because you know what? It's an Oktoberfest beer, guys. Uh, I love Marzins. They've slowly become one of my favorite style of beers. And why not? It's going into October. This is the perfect beer to drink this time of year. It's cold, it's dreary, it's rainy in Northern Michigan. I'm diving into usual suspect here, guys. So this beer is a little bit cheaper than Arvon's typical uh, price range. This is gonna be like $4.29 for this can. So at 6% ABV, so not as high octane as some of their other beers, but it is a Marzen. I mean, usually you like to see like five to 6% on those Marzins. Um, cool can art, it's not your typical Arvon uh, wrap around, but hey, they have can art that's given to random people and they tag them on the side of the can. So this one looks like it's artwork by Natalie Rogers 11. So shout out to Natalie Rogers. Um, let's go to a poor guys. It's mug season. It's Oktoberfest season. Let's go. Beautiful, baby. That nice amber copper dark orange, baby. I love that. That's like the perfect color. It's what you want to see out of this. Look at that. Does it get any better? And this is why we have the mug out, guys, because it's proper, very proper. Um, just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous looking. Dark amber, copper oranginess, that's exactly what you like to see. It's a nice little off-white tannish head sitting on top, um, dissipating fairly quickly, but it's got a little bit of creamy residual lingering here, clinging to the glass. A great carbonation. It looks very dark on camera because I can't get that light to reflect properly, but that's close, guys. You can kind of see this. It's kind of cloudy. I'm not really seeing through this. Um, looks like almost like a brown uh, and like a yingling combined together. Let's go to an aroma. There it is, that German funk, guys. I love it. I love the, the German um, kind of twang that you get on these beers, that kind of like hoppy, earthy, bready, toasted malt kind of goodness going on. It still smells light because guys, Marzins are light. This is uh, kind of retaining that quality of, of um, uh, uh, light bodied slash um, still lager style beer. It's got that nice dark malty kind of like syrupy sweetness to it a little bit. It smells good, guys. Um, it, it's still quite refreshing. Um, I'm diving in, guys. It's the usual suspect. Cheers. Prost. Oh. A little bit more like bready honey in this than, than I actually thought off the aroma. Um, it's a little bit fuller body than I thought off the aroma. Um, it's definitely got a little bit more grit to it. Like, there's, there's more bite and chewiness in this beer compared to some of the other Marzins that you kind of see in the lineups. Um, like the Founders Oktoberfest, super, super light. That beer's like basically a, a, a kiss of, of amber and then it's just a lager. Uh, this one's got more body, a little bit more uh, earthy, malty sweetness, a little bit more uh, honey, amber quality to it, a little bit more uh, caramel notes. Um, just kind of a little bit more uh, soft hoppiness on the back end too, but it feels proper. It just feels like a bigger uh, Oktoberfest beer than 6% actually. It's got a little bit more um, chewiness to it. It's got like this honey floral sweetness. Uh, that kind of um, goes right into the hoppy notes that it's bringing on the back end. A little bit of that bitterness coming out. Um, soft, creamy mouthfeel, but again, still more grit, more chewy, earthy, caramel toffee notes, but it's very light, that, that caramel toffee. Um, it's just more uh, bready, um, soft floral, if you will, and it's got all these kind of things that kind of play homage to the style, but it's like a little Arvon twist. It's got a little bit more... Uh, 
subtle hoppiness. Um, it's got a little bit more body maybe than I was accustomed to seeing on some other Marzins, but not all are cut the same, guys. So this one is actually very nice to the style. I don't get as much of that German twang, that funk uh, that I get on the aroma, but it's still got a little bit of that, um, again, German grit is what I'm gonna call it today. It's still got that quality and it's a very good fest beer, um, or I should say uh, Marzin. I'm getting ahead of myself. It's not as clean as some other um, Marzins, but I will say it's got more of that honey, caramel, bready, biscuity note that's going on, and it lingers quite quite nicely through the middle. Again, a little bit more happy, bitter ending than some other Marzins, um, but this is their own version. I dig it. It's 6%. It's going down pretty easy, guys. Uh, it's a really good beer, and I think it's proper for this style. It is Oktoberfest, and this is fitting. Um, I just like to see the, the variety and, uh, that, that Arvon's really bringing to the table lately. It's good to see this. Um, if, I'd, if I was at their tap room, I might be enjoying this more, but I'm at my house. I'm reviewing it with you guys. I don't have the atmosphere I like. I like mugs clanging together. You know, you're sitting with everybody having a good time. This beer might be better in that environment. It is sometimes atmosphere, but very good for the style. It's almost like a, a Vienna Lager slash Oktoberfest Marzen thing going on here. A nice kind of like amber and brown all mixed together into this Marzen here, guys. It's very good. Again, a little bit more hoppy bitterness on the back end than some other Marzins. Uh, rating. It's not an Arvon Hazy, it's not an Arvon Sour, but it's an Oktoberfest. I dig it. Um, true to the style with a little bit of a unique twist. Not all are the same. Uh, I'm going to go with a 3 8 out of 5, guys. There's a lot of good beers I can choose from. This is a solid one from Arvon. So, again, it's the usual suspect. Thank you so much for being here, guys. I'm over and out. Cheers.